Hey guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be reacting to my first ever rhythmic gymnastics routine. Now, the last time I did this um, was my final one, which was last week. Last week I did my final ever rhythmic gymnastics competition routine. This is the same for this one, but this is my first ever competition routine with my club. Because as I explained before, I was in a dance school doing rhythmic gymnastics, so we didn't do competitions, they were just put in the show. And I don't feel like it was as much pressure as it was on a competition and wasn't as much that there wasn't as much put into it. Not saying that the coach that taught us was was rubbish because she was absolutely amazing and I love her to bits. But I just feel like when you compete competitively competitively com when you compete you um feel a lot more pressure. Um as it's so much different to what it is in a dance school. So if you're doing rhythmic gymnastics in a dance school, I promise you rhythmic gymnastics in the competition world is so much different. Um my routine that I'm going to show you guys today was a rope routine and it was to a grease song. Um, I was in the novice senior level as I said before and I mentioned in my last video that I got a gold medal for this routine as well. So yeah, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so this routine was in October 2017? No. No, it was March, March 2017, I think. Either October or March, one or two, it was 2017, anyway. No, yeah, it would have been October. It was October 2017 because the group one was in March. Anyway, um, so let's just get on with watching the video. <laughs> so that was my mum just saying that every time she wants to record someone, <laughs> record me, someone walks past. Um, so, yeah. Now we're actually going to get into it, I think. <laughs> So that was my gym um, cheering in the background and like some other girls that I knew in other gyms. Um, and the girl who taught me it, Tamara, love you to bits Tamara, she was my coach at the time and um, she was there screaming off, screaming her head off. She was training to be a coach at the time and she obviously choreographed this routine and everything. I don't know if, I, if you saw that bit then, but um, my one of my coaches was on the judging panel and as I was doing that bit she was pointing at me and going smile, uh, which was funny, and then obviously everyone started clapping, which made my day and made me very, very happy. <laughs> Now I just realised I was talking about Tamara who taught me the routine. The coach in the purple t-shirt, which you can see at the back of this video, she um, was our team coach. She was like the team coach for my um, section, age group section, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that bit in, when I was wrapping it around my throat, oh my god, I remember when I was training, it Burn, I kept getting rope burn around my neck, it hurt so much. <laughs> now looking back at that, that rope, there's no way that I would not have got deducted for that hit. I'll quickly rewind that. Because that would have technically gone out the line. Like, you guys won't be able to tell watching it, but obviously I know because I was competing where the line was, and there's no way that that rope did not go out of the line. How? How did I not get a cross skip? That's one of the easiest moves ever. I got it in practice. Insert clip now. <laughs> okay, moving on. I 
I would have got deducted for that. My foot didn't stay up long enough. I've never watched this since the routine, by the way. <laughs> Right, now, talking about coaches, well, just let me zoom in. These two people here, one of them is my head coach, who is the head coach, no, but Vicky was the head coach of the gym, but she was also the lady who coached the Olympic team, which I was talking about last time, and then Debbie is the one next to her, I'll put little arrows in, Debbie was the one next to her who was technically our head coach, like, she was the one that you went for everything, and Debbie had known me since I was about, six seven i don't remember went for my trial for this gym and she was like chloe she was so happy to see me and then um when i was doing my tryout i was the oldest one there obviously like many little kids go and try out but i was moving and you had to try out to get in and um i went with kim who was the other lady and debbie going to my mum and went give me clothes equipment and it was just so funny <laughs> Oh, well, well, we missed it. Hang on, rewind. <laughs> now, this risk I'm about to do is the easy version with a rope of what I did with my hoop and messed up. This one is fine, but I can do it with my hoop apparently. Now that was my favourite routine that I ever did at that gym. I loved that routine so much and I actually have a photo of me in that in pose. My mum brought it and um, we have it up on the wall. I'll insert a photo or a clip of it somewhere so you guys can see the photo. And the dogs come to me. And yeah, so that was my first ever solo routine. Um, I practised my butt off in that routine and there was three of us doing rope. And I still came first, which made me really, really happy. Um, gold medal, as I said before in the other video. Um, but yeah, that was my first ever solo rhythmic routine, and I loved it so much. It's still my favourite ever routine. And I don't know if you guys remember me saying in the last video that we scrapped my old routine and started a new one. Basically, we turned that rope routine into a hoop routine, which I'm kind of glad that we didn't do that as my last routine now, because that's all I would have done. Um, so, yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I am going to add a clip in the end of this video of my last practice with that, um, actually I might not, I don't know, it depends when I'm editing, I might do another reaction video for that, so if I don't add that in the end let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that, that was my last practice, um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week for a new one, bye!